spirit mission. Why do we preach this? Kwa maana Mungu amenitokea kaniambia go and tell the church waruhusu roho wangu afanye kazi yake. Go and tell those mothers. Go and tell those fathers. Go and tell the youth. And waambie watu wako enzi wako majira ya roho wa Bwana. Hey 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 hallelujah. And that's why God says na tuliona hiyo katika ibada ya kwanza Acts chapter 2 verse 17 In the last days nitamwaga You know I I like the statement Ewa Shira Eh leo utakunywa suba Jana jamaa aliba jana Subu <laughs> Wonderful thank you for the good work Unataka kila mtu ana gift yake and please serve with all your heart serve with all you are Amen Amen it was a celebration wa mama I wish crusade. Apostolic Faith Church Praise Squad. Yes, he was here for a pole. Jarino, he did. Kamiaka. Enzi he, ni Holy Ghost. Imeandikwa, in the last days, to some of you, ni tamwaga, kumwaga. You see, vile imeandikwa katika matedo ya mitume bili 17, ukiangalia vile meandikwa, is unique way. It is, it is, mungu anaipeana, si kama vile nadikwa na mtapokea romta katifu. He sasa ni mungu ya sema hiwa. Ni tachukua roho yangu ni mwage. Na mungu hatumie, hatumie sasa hiwa, ni tatuma roho. Anasema, I'll pour out my spirit. It has a deeper meaning. Mungu kuchukua vile, we, vile alivyo, atukue roho hivi, anasikia konae, akumwagie. It has a deep meaning. Sio tu kujazwa ni mungu kuchukua roho yake na kile kikondani amwage tuko siku ya bwana kujimwaga to release to pour his spirit that is deeper than saying to receive the spirit is pouring na ukiangalia vizuri now anasema na nikisha kufanya hiyo they are unique Na ni vizuri wa pendo watuwe very careful na tuwele how God works. The characteristic ya mtu yote ya ba mejazo wa roho. Kila mtu alia hapa. Hata kama utabili watu, you are prophet. You are, what is prophecy? Prophecy ni uwezo utokanao kwa roho wa buwana na maobi na utakatifu. Hallelujah, roho ro, eh, ro mtakatifu, maombi, amen, na Na, na, na utakatifu. Three things. Holiness, Holy Spirit, and prayer. Ambao kikako utakatifu. Na uombe sana katika roo mtakatifu. Uombe sana, sana, sana. Kuna mahali mutu hufika. Are you hearing this? Ebni angalia vizuri. Utakapoenda kuomba. We, usikia kuko dry. Kuko dry. Sio kwamba huna roho. Uko na roho. Amen. Just release yourself. Release yourself. Ukiomba sana, kuna mahali hore spirit hupata network ya mungu ka. No naaza kusikia ukielewa. Ninini mungu anafikiria kuhusu your problem. Haya, emu ni tena, niagaria vizuri. It is one thing to pray about your problem. It's another thing for God to speak about it. No, people spared hours praying. But I would rather you pray. And then, usikisa mungu. Because, wakati mwingi mungu hujibu maobi kwa kunena neno about atarifu wata. Hallelujah. And that's why, unaona Bible, Bible ni kitabu cha neno. Like for instance, ah, uh, Many miracles in the Bible, they are, they are not done. You don't do a miracle. <laughs> you don't do it. For instance, 
Batimayo kuona sio macho ilishikwa ikapasuliwa it is word spoken Hallelujah Ule mchawi alikuwa Cyprus wakati Paul na Barnaba walienda kuona liwali hmm? ule ba Jesus ha, Paul hakumshika alimwambia wewe adui wa haki eh praise the lord akamwambia utapotosha jia za haki mpaka lini akasema na uwe kipofu kwa muda that word was performed you are prophet Ah, I pray God anoint your mouth. <laughs> Do you know same moja ambao ina facilitate Mungu is your mouth. And that's why God says, let the poor say, say he is rich. Hakukwa, wewe sikiza. Can you imagine the starting point ya kuwa rich? Let the poor say. Just say. <laughs> Amen. Sika mtaelewa hiyo. Let me give an example. Kama na kuwabia kwa mgojwa. If I say this, God I give you praise kwa mana huwa mepona. Simple, tashaga. Kusema baba na wabo mponya huyu, muhurumie, is one thing. Na kusema hivyo, baba na kushukuru huyu wa mepona, is another thing. Namura anji ita. Kama na taka kenywa awe, kwa zaman kenywa sasa saisi yake, sikizu ni ya radikrusa. Yeah, kuna kata likuwa na baba si deputy governor Uwa na baba wakubwa Na speeder na Mutuwa kwa esiku moja We hujajua driver mtume huyu Anaenda speed ya 160 Na esi fanya ajari Ako na upako wa hiyo level Hyper Sasa Do you know There's one thing kuomba Mungu ampe gari is another thing to prophesy kwaba iyo gari ya konai. You don't have <laughs> haya. Let me prove it. Do you know in heaven na musikiza vizuri kuningana efeso moja aya pili, if you read it inasema kwamba, inasema vizuri hivi. Blessed be the Lord, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all things in heaven rich in Christ. Abalikiwe baba mungu, baba wa Yesu Christo, alie tubariki na vitu vyote. Just read it. Atukuzwe. That is Ephesians 1.3. Atukuzwe mungu, baba wa bana wetu, Yesu Christo. Alie tubariki na baraka zote za rohoni Katika ulimwengu wa roho, dani yake kristo, amen. Kama vili alivyo tuchagua, katika yeye, kabra ya kueka misigi ya ulimwengu, we were chosen, amen. Da, alitujagua katika yeye, kabra ya kueka, do you know something? You are not a stranger. Tell the devil I'm not a stranger. I existed. Shetani mimi siku tokea tu hivi hivi. I'm very old. Very old. You know God says, kama vire alivyo tuchagua dani yake. Nasema, alivyo tuchagua dani yake. Kambla ya kuekwa misiki ya ulimwegu. Can you imagine some of these statements should be your testimony? I was chosen by God. Before awake me sing ya ulimwengu, God determined who I am. Hallelujah. Na haya, enasema hivi, hili tuwe watakatifu, watu wa siyo na hatia bere za katika pendo. Aha, kwa kuwa alitangulia kutuchagua, hili tufanywe wanawe kwa jia Yesu Christo. We were chosen to be Sons and daughters. Now, when God talks about sons, Mungu ogea kuhusu watu wabawa wanaeza igia kicheni yake na wakunyo maziwa bila kuriza, excuse me. Watu wabawa wanaeza, mutu, haya, 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 hallelujah. Amen. One time we had a state house. State house okienda, 
uh, GSU na wale wa kanida huko they are very good. Wako na hata katasi. But ni wakali sana. Waza fikiria kuna security lakini wakali. Oh, wakali. Nikawa najuana na mtu kule Dani State House Control kama nataka kuingia. But now kama tungekuwa na jaba ile kijana ya uhuru. Tufike tu kwa gate. Aseme tunataka kuingia. Tunaingia. Tunaenda kwa baba yake. Haleluya. Amen. Huyu kijana na ni mtoto wa president akienda mahali magari imekuwa packed. Haulizi tafadhali dadi. Nataka kukula. Tafadhali dadi naweza ingia ofisi yako. Tafadhali dadi naweza bebo na gari. Tafadhali akienda aseme na tuko na yeye. Eh hizi magari ni yetu. Na bishop nataka hii gari itakuwa yako hii. Naongea na baba saa. Naongea na baba saa hii. Sikia. Can you see yes, yes. Already ni mlithi wa baba. Na anaweza abukiza wengine baraka za baba. Do you know when ni mlithi wa Mungu so much and you can cause others to have favor with your father? Amen. Now, mutoto You know, sometimes uh, our son akiwa around kama na shughuli labda nataka kuondoka usiku kama uh, anaweza pitia bedroom yetu kuna vile hubisha habishi kama naomba ruhusa ni kuku kuku pop pop i always know ojo ni donguma amia i know ojo ni dongo anasema sun is knocking nao anajua <laughs> na kawaida yeye hupenda kuna gari ya mama hapo they share a lot hiyo kagari ni rosemary stroke dongo kama mami fugo ya gari they don't argue hello praise god yangu uchukua kata na nibeba na lazima nibebe kwa jia ambayo ni talala kana bure kisha gari bwana asipo sana hallelujah here the kitchen sometimes they come as a kuja and wakija na kazini yake they can they cook mama kiingia kitchen asema and the sun was here bila hii kitchen imechokorwa that authority must be the authority of a sun nyama nyama murugira wa nyama na wa murwe <laughs> Hallelujah Ameingia ameingia amepika mzuri Although siku moja walinipikia nikalala jaa sababu walikuwa naona asano na mama alikuwa America nyama ikaharibika <laughs> Nikabwa dadi unaweza jipa moyo uone kama kuna ile mzuri <laughs> Ah. And it was on Sunday evening bana. Ah, nikasema. Sema nini baya tuliona ball. Tuliona ball. Na nikajua ukiona yame meharibika hasa na yamesidwa. Bwana asifiwe kwangu my wife na dongoni wa asano. Mimi huwa mimi huwa ni shabik wa mashabik wa asano. Mimi ni kuangalia hawa kishidwa nikiona wako na hovu na mwambia jipe moyo <laughs> ah, mimi nikutia moyo god wikiingia na mwambia mume shida eh hey, ah bas wakishona mwambia hiyo timu yenu na mwambia mwambia <laughs> hello praise god one thing friends you should know we are blessed with everything same ni everything alafu Ukienda katika na we na sio kustukia tunastukia tulichaguliwa hivyo before God laid the foundations of the earth ili haya sikiza tuwe nini ili tuwe wana wa Mungu ndani ya Kristo and because we are son tuwe tukiingia hiyo kitchen na Mungu akienda kuaga sema surely watoto wangu wameingia hiyo nyumba 
I pray maombi yako iwe maombi ya mtoto wa baba. Can I tell something? Eshi kabla muombe na kama kama na wagapi wana hapa. Mwana haobi hivi baba naomba uguzwe. Baba naomba nikubuke. Let me say something. Katika agano la kale wa Geoba hivyo. But in the New Testament Mungu si kukubushwa na kubushwa wewe. Anasema you are always in him. Actually we exist in him. Amen. Katika angano njipya tunasema God I know wanipenda. Mungu nakushukuru kwa maana katika ile store ambao ulisema we are blessed in everything hapo najua kitu kimoja nilifikiria kabla hujaupa dunia ni kwamba I should sleep well. I should eat well. I should perform miracles. I should prove your name. Na mimi baba niwe barabara ya kuonyesha baba ni nani. I know it. Let me say this. Do you know shida moja ya maombi ni kupoteza network? Kwa sababu bigu inagojea uombe kama mwana na wewe unaomba kama mtumwa. You know mtumwa hulia. Mtumwa hupembeleza mkubwa kwa maana mtumwa ni wakuhurumiwa. Mtumwa hana haki lakini mtoto, mtoto mtoto haki yake ilitokea zamani kwa maana yeye ni mtoto wa baba do you know our stand and position we are not looking for it it is established because of your sons hallelujah you know karaoke hakuna mambo ya kufikiria wewe ni mama yake ah kabisa kabisa na kiongea naongea kitu faino. Mami, yes. Mke wangu anakuja kwako leo. Kwanja nini? Anakuja. Nini? We akija anakuja kwako. Ukiweza kwa kwani mami atakaje? Kwani kuja kwako ni nini? You know. Sasa sasa need to naongea. Na ni mtoto kwa wanaenda kwa mama. Hallelujah. Na wajukuu akija. <laughs> Unasikia hata wajukuu anajua ni shosho. Kana kurukia. Kana ingia kitchen. Kana ambia shosho. Ile maziwa yako tumekunywa. Yani report. See, are we going to drink milk? Report ni kuwaba. Tumeku. In the final step, unaigine. <laughs> Wanajua kama kuna maziwa. Shosho, hini ya, hini yetu na wewe. Ukigia kitchen na kujaide tray ya mai. Imepikwa. May I sit down and you assure this must be a son or a grandchildren. These are people who know they own this place. Nataka baba akute kwamba katika tresha yake. Kuna vitu zimechukuliwa. Kuna magari. Kuna vitu vya maana mechukuliwa. Aseme, surely children visited heaven this day. Piggy and yes, my coffee. One of the reasons Roho wa Bwana ako juu yako is to make you pray as a daughter or a son. And because we are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our lives. And because we are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our lives. Crying, Abba, Father. Crying, Abba, Father. Crying, Abba, Father. The spirit of his son into our lives. Kwa sababu tuwana, mungu wa memtuma, roho wa mwana edani yetu. Kwa sababu tuwana, mungu wa memtuma, roho wa mwana edani yetu. 
Washirika wetu wa bahati naomba kutoka leo baba asikie kilio cha mwa na si cha mtumwa. Watu wengi wamelia hapa kama watumwa, watu wengi wameingia bila za Bwana kama wageni, watu wengine wameingia katika uwepo wa Bwana kama ni kualikwa mealikwa na sasa na kubadilisha by anointing. Bwana asikie kilio cha mwana. Haleluya! Hata wakati umefinywa sana Simama useme kama ayubu I know my redeemer lives He is my father Hallelujah Na ayubu akasema Na one day Atakanyanga hapa bere yangu Hata kama ngozi ya mwili wangu itakuwe meisha I know my redeemer my father is coming Na akasema Na macho yangu itamuona Na nitamuona akiwa wa upande wangu Na sita muona akiwa mugeni Lidima ataka potokea Oh, when God heard that Aka sema kilio cha muana Nimekisikia Muana alie kuwa meja boros Mapigwa ya shetani Badea kusema I'm dying Badea kusema woy Mugo meniacha Arishema ata sasa Mugo nitanena kama mtoto God sent his spirit into your life. Ili dandi yako ata kukiwa nini? Kutoke mtu wabaya na ongea kijua baba ni nani? Baba ni nani? Baba ni nani? Hallelujah. That's why poa gesema if God be for us, who can be against us? Anashema kama ni mungu wa menihesabia haki ya kasema ni mekubarika. Nani huyu anaeza kudistaki? If God mwenye meka kwenye koti ya bingu akiwa hakimu ya mwisho kama hiyo hapo imeandikwa amrighteous ni koti gani hiyo ingeta perekwa na anybody oh we need to finish these issues friends mungu hatufanyi mungu kuwa mungu he has always been god hatuendi ku musarabani yesu akufe tena hiyo kazi alimaliza na akasema imekwisha hallelujah may the lord bless you May the Lord keep you. And that's why we need to be very careful about how God works. No kegaria aefeso moja. Aya kumina tatu. Kumina mpili. Inasema hivi. Nasi katika huyo. Tupate kuwa sifa ya utukufu wake. There is no we. God did not make you to be ashamed. Katika ye ye. I declare to you by the masses of God. Oh my God. Kira mutu hapa mwa mekua kilia. Nasema paguzwe machozi sasa. Wewe hapa umebeba hadi kachifu kumi. Kwa maana unaliyaka sana. Hizo hadi kachifu tupa tisa. Upa kina moja. Wewe hapa unashidu wa leo jione utayada wapi. I say today. Nataka ubadrishe badaya iwe swali. Weka full stop. Useme leo naenda kwangu. Kwa maana badaya. Amesema hivyo Na mimi nitaishi Sita kufa Mutu wali kuambia utakufa Do you know something? Anytime anybody declare evil against you Speak from the mother of the father Against that person Amen There is no way Baba ataacha watu wa niwe the way they want I will die at the fullness of time There is no way Baba aliendiza Ambao ni baba Yesu Christo aliyeshida kifo Ataniacha mikononi my neighbors when it is it can't happen. It can't happen. Do you know what I've been, what I've been doing? You see, what wengi kwa sababu uogei kama mtoto. Network katikati ya shida zako na upako heaven umekosekana. Have you noticed na mundiabia ukweli? Umayi kata kama wabi ukalia, ukalia, mwisho kakaukiwa, ukada nyubani. Is it true? Yes. Can I tell you what you do? Kama umepoteza guvu ya kuwa na ujasiri kwa ba mugu ni baba, kaa kwa magoti mpaka haki ya mtoto irudishwe. Ukienda kuwa
kuoba usikie una nguvu. Ukienda kuoba usikie hata huzui kuoba. Please stay there until Mungu akufanya alignment. Siondoki hapa mpaka ule upako ile network ya baba na mimi ile je network ya worship. Nataka kusikia nikisema the Lord is my shepherd. I will not lack. God let's to me to the network ya worship. Kama ukipiga magoti unasikia kama kufa. Ka hapo mpaka Bwana rejeshe network. Inaosema I will not die but live. Hallelujah. Kako magoti mpaka network irudi. Inaosema Yesu die Alpha na Omega. The author and the perfecter of my faith. Ah, kaa katika magoti mpaka utukufu wa kiti cha enzi utokea vizuri. Na asema kutoka leo mjue kwa nini roho bwana alikuja alikunja kukufanya uwe na understanding na uwe na haki kama mwana wa ule baba na si mwana wa kukaa hapa na baba akae kule ni mwana wa kuenda kwa baba ni mwana wa kuishi na baba na ni mwana wa kufanyika nini kama alivyo tuchagua kabla hajaweka misingi ya ulimwengu tuonekane ndani yake tukiwa hatuna aibu haleluya and verse 13 inasema hivi na tunasoma hapo kwamba 13 That is Ephesians 13. Na uh, 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 verse 12. Nasi katika huyo tupata nini? Kuwa sifa ya utukufu wake. Sisi tuliotangulia kumwekea Kristo tumendelea tu. Verse 13 says, "Nani pia katika huyo mumekwisha kulisikia na la kweli. Habari jema za wokovu wenu. Tena mumekwisha kumwamini yeye na kutiwa muhuri." na roho yule wa ahadi aliye mtakatifu die aliye arabuni ya urithi wetu ili kuleta ukobozi wa miuki yake kwa sifa ya utukufu wake bwana yesu ainuliwe are you there friends to god be the glory to god be the glory now listen carefully you see holy spirit is also the seal Muhuri. Now, uh, muhuri ambao Roho Mtakatifu anaweka mtu hivi, chapa. Muhuri. Una tabia bili. Tabia ya kwanza ni kwamba inakwambia hivi. Roho Mtakatifu akija, kuja hapa cha lady. Huja na sehemu sehemu ya urithi na sehemu ya utajiri uliowekewa na hiyo sehemu inaitwa deposit deposit ni hivi ukienda Toyota Kenya unataka kununua gari sometime utaona magari katika showroom unaambiwa na hizi zime i want to buy nenda kununua viti nikaona kiti mzuri kabla hii viti yote haiwezi uzwa imeripiwa deposit deposit sio nusu deposit huwa kubwa at least more than half ya total payment kuonyesha kwamba you are serious buyer na kusema kwamba mwambie hata kile kimembaki ninaleta kuna kitu kinaitwa kurithi baba mungu katika roho uliojazwa kuna sehemu kubwa ya amani sehemu kubwa ya uhakika sehemu kubwa ya ushindi ukupa kukwambia kwamba even the remaining one god said ukiona nimekupa hii hata hiyo ingine na ileta kasema ndiye kwani unaweka rudhi na mnaharati ni hallelujah hallelujah je kusaidia sasa haya na oh si moto ni kwa fikiri unachomwa haya bwana inue sana The Holy Spirit is a seal. Is a seal. Jambo lingine ni arabuni is a confirmation kwamba urithi and hivi. Let me advise you something. Mko tayari? Haya, niwaambie kitu ambacho kitafanyika. Are you listening? Haya, mmeona watu wengi hawana uhakika hasa mambo ya mapato. Si ni kweli. 
unakuta leo ni viatu nauza kesho ni nini kini let me advise you na hii ifanyike from today kama utaruhusu ujazo wa roho wa bwana uwe vile Mungu alikusudia kuna kitu hufanyika kuja hapa eh uh, kwa za mwalimu mwalimu habari yako unakuta huyu ni msijagi msijagi ni mtu wa mambo mengi mazuri ako na gari pale na nataka speed akiingia kia burud labda kuhurumia utampata hivi hivi very good driver tuarago katabiete babaji bi lakini anajua ana mshida mna kibishana na yeye yeye daeda sana sasa let me say this tuseme ameanza sasa yeye ako na shule sometimes unakuta in a good school i saw it akaroma mengi sana mengine itakuja kuona ona tu naona kama yeye ukiona hiyo kichwa eh ni anaweza kuwa exporter importer kuna mtu kimwangalia unaona ni multi ni multi purpose multifaceted multifaceted mind haya haleluya na atasaidi kihubiri na atatoka hapa na kiaidi ya kingine can i tell something katika maisha kuna kitu kinaitwa ladi sema ni ladding sema i have ladded eh? i have ladded kuna wakati mtu huzubuka unasubuka unasubuka lakini kuna wakati unashika kilicho chako ka unasikia i have now ladded kile mungu alikusudia niwe kama karia na kifeva na huduma i've ladded na mtu you lad in two ways one huduma pili mali three lifestyle kuna wakati familia yako mnaweza subwana 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 wasema ah now the family has ladded mahali tumefika sasa we have finished the turbulence hii nyumba nimeona mwelekeo wake naomba mnao subuka kulea watoto na nini i pray that you lad very soon kwamba haleluya mume subwana na mke wako mume wako mesubwana mesubwana ni kama leo leo mama na kaka kama pilipili sio hadi pilipili na wakaa na igata you die gai 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 hii ni doa au hii nimenega ikrieta Mbona subwana faida ni mnakuta na hii doa sasa ime graduate we have landed amen you know remember the testimony to repair na mama mimi yako alitwambia yeye alikuwa mtu wa hasira i'm saying because siku za kona kuru alikuwa mtu wa hasira mzee akiingia atalikuwa na pepa akikojea mzee the only food akipea mzee mzuri kitabu kule gedheri kabla hajatoa hasira original hata kana mzee mzuri lakini wandi akasema i should leave this akaamua mzee alipokuja amani nyingi walipokati mwezi mmoja mzee akauliza na ile ile kitu sikisa kuna ilisha sawa ndiri kubolewa i pray that your marriage should now lad hakuna haja miaka na miaka na kaa kama unangojea mume mwingine mke mwingine let us lad number 2 ikifika biashara na mali kanyanga iliyo yako fika leo both I have landed. Hallelujah. Na ikifika kule ya watoto, naomba watoto wako afike pahali ambapo haugojei wa kuibishe. Most people are scared. You don't know your son or your daughter. Nini inaweza kumwatak, kumwatak walimu wengine. Like now I've come to pray. Nimetaka kuombea mtoto ambaye kwa shule this week, our Sunday school kid aliletewa na mwalimu sinema ya devil worship. And the kid is not sleeping ameingizwa naona nimeomba nikasema hiyo ilaniwe haleluya tuna haya akitoka asubuhi hujui ni nani atamshuka kwa jia i pray that your children watainuka wainuke wainuke useme i'm no longer struggling my children are have now landed haleluya naomba mamlaka yako ya kiroho na maisha usiusubuke tena amen msikiza kati tu kati tu now listen the holy spirit came to cause you lord hakuja huyo kihama from this business to another confusion hapana mtoto wa baba baba amekataa hiyo baba amekataa na nikitaka from today hata sahi 
ukonfess useme ninajua baba amenibariki najua baba amenipa kazi ya maana najua tata wangu atasoma because the bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart kutakuwa na deliverance two areas of faith mdomo ukiri na moyo uamini hallelujah now oh sasa zimeisha sana listen listen now now you see Ukisoma Genesis 26 utaona story hapo very funny ya Isaac Isaac ame, kumekuwa na jaa kubwa kuliko ile ilikuwa siku za Abraham na Isaac amefikiria kuhama na Mungu amefikiria to settle him I pray God change your mind now because the Bible says Isaac in response kwa maana siku hizi ni covid iko wakati wa Isaac ni jaa kubwa kuliko ile ilikuwa hata wameiona bereni wakati wa baba yake Abraham na bible nasema kwamba ukiangalia vizuri ukiangalia vizuri jaa ilipokuwa kubwa Isaac aka, akaona vyema ahame ahead Egypt ukiende fast tu asema hivi Bwana kamtokea akasema usishuke kwenda Misri. Ka katika inchi ni kuambiao. Hear this. Nisalimieni. I sense in my heart. Kuna mtu hapo akona a very weird dangerous risky decision. About you have been forced na jabu ambalo umepata hivi karibuni au hali ilivyo ya uchumi naomba tu right now as i speak Mungu akutokee and stop you stop you kwa maana what you want to do is a reaction sorry what you want to do is a reaction reaction ya kwamba unataka kufanya ambao you know very well is not God's will it's not God's will it's not God's will wataka kufanya kitu kichafu wataka kufanya kitu ambacho wajua this is risky is dangerous but listen carefully as God appeared to Isaac akamwambia now i want nataka kukusimamisha kutoka kwa uamuzi ambao is not part of you wewe ni mtoto wa Ibrahimu wewe ni mtoto ambaye amebeba ahadi doa yako Isaac ilikuwa ni doa si ya kawaida wewe ni mtu ambao baba yako alikupata ikiwa mwana bego ya baraka and now i don't want you to behave like others wengine huenda huedi may god remind you where you have come from umekuwa kijichanganya kama mama wengine hapo neighbors I pray you are the Isaac of today. Na bwana ukumbuke ni mambo gani Mungu aliye hapa kukuhusu. You have come from a promise. You have come from a vow. Akapo no Isaac, don't behave like others. Ka katika hiyo nchi. And then ukienda utaona pia marriage yake ilikuwa tact. Alipokaa ukienda hapo chini utaona there was an issue ya marriage yake utaona katika uh, aya aiza kakaka katika gera watu wa mahali hapo wakamuuliza habari za mkewe oteba oteba akawa na temptation ya survival temptation ya survival which is dangerous alipokuwa akisema aha aha <clears throat> na mke wangu watu wa nchi ile wasije wakamua kwa ajili ya Rebeka kwa maana alikuwa mzuri wa uso this is this, this an issue of marriage nasema al, haya <coughs> alipoulizwa watu wa mahali hapo wakamuuliza habari za mkewe akasema ni ndugu yangu huyu maana aliogopa kusema ni mke wangu watu wa nchi wasije wakamua kwa ajili ya Rebeka kwa maana alikuwa mzuri wa uso ikawa alipokuwa amekaa huko siku nyingi abimeleku mfalme wa Filisti akachukua dishani akamuona Isaac akicheza cheza na mke wake 
akaona ile mchezo ni ya muze, ni ya mume na mke i don't know what they are doing labda pasa wanyoki atatuambia baada ya ibada sema <laughs> you know you know lebeka was so beautiful na unjua Rebecca alikuwa amepatikana na jia maombi because kuna beauty ya natural na kuna beauty ya mtu kuwa righteous two of them amen kuna mwanamke ukimwangalia ni beautiful lakini unaona mashetani kuna mwingine ukimwangalia ni beautiful lakini unaona hiki ni kiudu kuna dada beautiful in two ways maisha yake ni maisha ya mtu ambaye ameamua Mnajua mnajua vile Rebecca aliolewa? Rebecca aliolewa kwa jia ya maombi na sauti ya Mungu. Unlike other people. Alikuwa na that beauty. Naomba mliolewa na mliolewa na uwe na beauty righteousness. Beauty ya Kuna watu wana watu hana mipaka. Hana beauty of righteousness. Kuoga wanajua suti wanava Gwoza maana wanavaa lakini hana ulembo utokao kwa righteousness. Unakuta misingi yake si maombi. Mkikana yeye anaweza sema anything and about dali. Akikasirika anaweza kasirika usema wacha nitoke nje oxygen imeisha. Kuna watu wana wakikasirika wanakaa kama exhaust. Ya gari hapo haja service. Wewe natoka mosho sema unasikia kabisa una faint. But I pray that sisters and brothers nataka dada uwe mlembo wa maumbile because God is, has preserved you na uwe mlembo wa character of righteousness. Mwa, ni dada mwenye haki. Doa yake si ya mchezo. Amen. Akiwa katikati ya wanaume they sense she's married. Unu kuna watu hana boundary Unakuta mama. Unakuta baba kama yeye unaambia mzee, "Eh, dirago. Tutakuja kahawa lini?" Unajua one time we got my cup hali. Ah, uh, na wageni na marafiki zangu, you know, some people, some relatives. Mzee mmoja, a rich man, alikuwa tumekaa na hapo. Kana ka currency ya which part? One of the leaders akambia, "Ha! Eh, wewe tukaja kahawa lini? Tukaja kahawa lini?" Mzee akambia, "Bishop, ispokuwa ni vile tuko bere ya watu. Unje unaweza haja ukoka. Oh mama, ange. Either ni coffee sio coffee kahawa. Coffee mkono. Alikuwa na dai kahawa ya kukunywa lakini angepata ya mkono leo. Akambia bishop, ni mtumia wa mudu raji rogo. Wagapi hapa mnaambia watu kazini coffee 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 Mama alipata mwanaume ambao hata kama mke wake hayuko it is known akona cover ya righteousness ya marriage But now you see now Isaac had an issue here I got thank God for protecting the Becca Isaac aliogopa sema oh ni ndugu yangu kwa maana alikuwa mrembo sana na naona kama tuzetu gebua lakini kitabo akaonekana amekupatia Rebecca akasema eh bibi mimi nikasema eh ile kuguzana hivyo ni ya mume na mke Bwana asifiwe Now ukiangalia bibi anasema hivi Mhm Now of course alipoona hivi wakajua ya, yakini huyo ni mkeo Bwana ulisema ni ndugu yangu kwa sababu niliongopa nikaogopa nikaogopa basi amemereku Aha. Abimereku akawaamuru watu wote akisema Amguzae mtu huyu au mke wake lazima atauawa. God has way of righteousness and preserving the watu ambao amenenea. Si ni kweli? Verse 12 says Isaac akapanda begu katika nchi ile akapata mwaka ule vipimo mia kwa kimoja. Bwana, sikiza Mungu haisemi ni hali ya anga, hali ya anga ilikuwa mbaya. Mungu asemi ilikuwa ni majira ya baraka, mavuno. Neighbors hawakuwa wanapata kitu. But the Bible says wakati Isaac alinenewa, akaambiwa asiende Egypt 
Na bwana kasema Isaac, now vile sasa utaishi, utaishi kwa neno langu. Kwa maana nimeamuru siende kile kitatendeka kwako, kitatendeka kitu cha upande wa bwana. Anasema hivi Isaac, utaanza kufanyika kile nilikufikiria na nikakuchagua uwe kabra hata hujazaliwa wewe. Baba yako alipoopa apewe kijana. Hallelujah. And that's why Isaac akaanza kuzaa ukulasa wa mtoto wa ahadi. I pray today get out of natural and become a son and daughter of promise. Ninao mkono hivi. Ninanenea mkono wako baraka za kifaume. Baraka za mwana wa urithi. Baraka za mpangilio wa Yehova And from today Nikiwa kwa madhabau haya I release from the treasure of God Sign of heaven Kwa haba kutoka leo Kama Isaac Katika majira haya Utapanda by his word Na utavuna marambia Na utavuna kama majirani Pokeeni majira ya Yehova Receive the season of Jehovah. Pigia Yesu Makofi. Listen carefully. Majira ya dunia ilikuwa hivi. Kuna ja, kuliko ile ja imai kueko. Lakini majira ya Jehovah kwa wana ni hii. When the world is so dry, the season of heaven is opposite. I want to say to you, mutaka paona kumeharibika, Bingu na shema ni kuzuri. Mutaka paona kumekauka. Hayo ni majira ya watu. Hayo ni majira ya watu. Bible inasema, Arise and shine for your light has come. Bible inasema, Dunia itafundi kwa nagiza kuu. Lakini kwako wewe the chosen one. Utukufu wa buwano takushukia. I prophesy this word. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost came. Iri dunia hi isi tuharibu. I, the God of Isaac is my God, is your God. Naomba tu, can you hear this? I want to give you a revelation. Wakati kumeharibika hivi. This is not from heaven. In mamba ya dunia. Kuna mambo itokao chini, na kuna mambo itokao juu. Isaac was chosen na kati na answer to demonstrate the season of heaven season of heaven is this wakati wengine hawana kitu wewe panda na god uyo demonstrate not majira yaliyomo hapa ni majira yaliyomo kule for this is our prayer our father who is in heaven we can also say our season which is in heaven our favor which is in heaven our dominion is in heaven. I said, our father who is in heaven. Not, can you hear this phrase? Dunia haina baba yako. What were we very careful? Jesus did not say our father is around. And he said, your father is in heaven. Now you are supposed to come with Aje. Now we are supposed to cause kingdom to come. Never make a mistake because Chida watu wa kiroho wamekuwa watu wa neema they assume things it says our father who is in heaven baba wetu liye biguni jina lako litukuzwe number 2 ufaume wako uje kingdom never assume kingdom ufaume ni kuja huo na kuja unajua don't know watu wana just because you are speaking tongues you have the king kingdom you have to pray until it is activated your kingdom come Na yesu alikuwa nasema, muna pa omba oba hivi. Do you know what he meant? Make sure, how to say ma turudia sara ya buwana. Alisema as you pray. Make sure, kingdom is here. Oba mpaka usiki ufome mkucha. And then abata sama, your will, mapenzi yako, itedek hapa. Kama ya livyo wapi. God, dunia haina pesa, but I pray. In your presence, the season ile iko for your children. I release it. Mimi ni Isaac kwa leo, umeniambia ni siede Egypt, inchi ya utumwa, 
nisihangaika kama watu wengine i now stand in your presence like isaac now your kingdom come your season come your favor come just as it is in heaven hear this maboyako they are manufactured there but released here mungu wangu nikiwa kwa this altar i command out of your precious majira ya mtu hapa ishuke sasa hatutaka kama watu wengine vile wanakaa bible inasema msiwe kama watu wengine wasio na matumaini holy spirit alikuja ili uwe kama isaac mtu ambaye alikuwa aende kwa biashara ambayo ingekuharibu okay but don't go to that one ulikuwa uhambe just to run away kwa maana unaogopa don't run away ah and god says unaka hapo kwa maana from today hautaka kama neighbors utaka as kingdom inasema unaweza panda when others hawa pandi where is the funa wakati wengine hawavuni na utavuna hundred fold kumaanisha kwamba fullness i now nikiwa preza mungu release hundred fold season kwa mikono ya washirika wa hii kanisa kwa madhabahu ya hii kanisa father majira ambao neighbors hawajui majira ambao our family members hawaelewi lakini inaundwa katika makao makuu yetu oh mahali kumeandikwa record yetu baba naomba from your presence release a season that is unique just unique for your sons and daughters neighbors dunia haijui hayo ni wale ambao wametii baba roho wa bwana anawabukiza hiyo Holy Spirit naomba uingize family za hii kanisa katika celebration kusherekea utukufu wako naomba kila mama wa hii kanisa awe mama wa sifa na worship sio worship ya kawaida worship of the holy spirit naomba bwana watu walio hapa wasimame kwa soko at the anointing waseme my redeemer lives hallelujah mungu wangu let the holy ghost take over pigia yesu makovu anaweza now You see when Bible says in Genesis 26 verse 13 asema and the man began to prosper he continued prospering until he became prosperous this is happening in a dry season You know if you read it in King, New King James version that is Genesis 26 verse 13 asema and the man began to prosper and he continued prospering until he became prosperous <sighs> Genesis 26 verse 13 be your portion Amen. Hallelujah Amen. we don't care we don't care we don't care sisi atuo katika siasa ya dynasty na hasla that is so demonic I, 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 I have no problem with what wana sema hiyo ni maoni siasa lakini we can't mimi siko mlengo wote wa siasa lakini naongea kuhusu philosophy ya boy imekuja which is dangerous akina ruto akina uhuru wengine tunajuana we are friends eh sometimes wananiita nitembee kwao eh we normally have flow very well because i'm a servant of god in query yes and you pray with them the other day at uh, muke wa fresh at my bishop out with the prayer ministry wa konaya but the issue is see us here see a holy spirit see a holy spirit we are not hustlers jina hasla ukiangalia nilitoka wapi katika america is a very bad word naomba mungu tu ayodoe naomba kina ruto na kina huru waanze kusema we are more than congress waza kusema the nation is blessed i pray that president uhuru na kina laida na kina ruto mungu aweke kwa midomo yao prophecy not philosophy prophecy not philosophy amen naomba mfaume na waroko katika uongozi wapate mafuta ya kifaume kama ile ya daudi kama ile katika katika biblia kwa hapa mfaume atainua mikono aseme i bless 
the nation. Hata ino mkono aseme hakuna matajiri na maskina nini kile kiko ni kwamba watu wote Mungu awabariki na kila mtu awe na kazi na awe na mali. Let's bless. Let's have our leaders bless the nation. Na kwa, kama hawana what we that tuwame hapo karibu na wao and we speak on behalf of God. Now waseme amen tukiongea. Hallelujah. May God bless you so much. Naomba kusiwe na mtu hapa anajiita hasola. Kusiwe na mtu hapa anajiita tajiri. No one. Hakuna mtu mkubwa mdogo hapa. We are God's children. Na chochote uko nacho, uko nacho because you are heir of the Father. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Wengine wakiita utajiri. Sisi tunaoita ba urithi wa watoto. Urithi wa baba. Nikiwa na magari kumi, this is a blessing. Na yoyote atake kuja kwa maskini in this church. We never call them poor. We now change your mouth. Ukingia ile gate. Let the poor say, he is rich. Let the poor say, he is rich. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hakuna maskini hapa. Bible ya sema katika level mahali jina lako binguni nimeandikwa against your name you are blessed with all blessings in the heavenly realm tutakuwa katika kugudua 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 na kupe binguni kumandikwa ni wana hii and i pray within a very short time muwe na magali muwe muwe kuenda china kuleta vitu america nataka kusikia hivo kwa sababu utafanana na kire kimepitishwa na kire mungu alikusudia uwe kabla hata haja yaka misigia ule mwengu oh may god deliver your mind god deliver your soul hallelujah holy ghost came akulete season sikiza Haiwezekano wa Bwana nishukie. Nilie kama majirani. Kwani tulipokea Now hear this. Arai tu arai kiu kila nyumbani you memorize this verse. Let me read it for you. If we go katika 1st Corinthians as we finish now. 1st Corinthians chapter 2. Mhm. Mm Hey, make sure me fungua First Corinthian chapter two, verse twelve. Iyo nika taka yuwe memory verse this week. Memory verse this week. Just open their free friends. Ah, it is powerful. Inasema nini? Let's can we read together? That is First Corinthian chapter two, verse twelve. Are you there? Are you there, friends? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Now, we have not. Kwa sauti kubwa? Now, we have not. We have received not the spirit of the world. But the spirit who is from God. That we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Hatu kubwa kero ya dunia. Watu wakanisa hii. Ambo roo ya dunia. I now announce, be cleansed and be delivered from the spirit. Hatu kupokea roho ya dunia. Bari tulipokea roho wa mungu. If you read in Kiswahiri, inasema hivi. Lakini sisi, hatu kupokea roho ya dunia. Bari roho atokai kwa mungu. Nemulangi ita. Roho atokai kwa mungu. Makusudi tupate kuyajua tulio kilimiwa na mugu. No kieda verse 9. Mambo abayo jicho haliku yaona. Wara sikio haliku ya sikia. Wara haiku ingia katika moyo wa monadamu. Mambo abayo mungu ama wandalia mpedao. This is what the Holy Ghost came to do. There are things yako. Sema mimi. Sema vizuri sema mamba yangu. Ambao. Haiku ingia akiri ya mtu. Amen. Akiri haijagia akiri ya mtu. Sikio haijasikia. 
haijaingia moyo wa mtu ambao Mungu amewekea si dunia yote ni wale wampedao hayo mambo imewekwa ambao hauwezi kuwatoa kwa anybody ndio mambo roho mtakatifu anaingia mbinguni anasema nao hata kama wengine wanarana ja hata kama wengine biashara zao zinaanguka nimekuja nikiwa roho ya Mungu kukuambia hivi haukupokea roho ya dunia ulipokea roho atokaye juu ili uweze kujua yale mambo umekirimiwa from there amen nasema things that eyes have not seen things that ear has not heard things that have not entered the heart of any man god has kept for you Oh nataka kuanzia leo uwe na hamu ya kujua nini ni hiyo and you be unique like Isaac sema tushukuru bwana